Hi everyone, welcome back to Digital Dreambox. Today we'll be modeling a low poly gun, but not just any low poly gun, it's gonna be the NES Zapper. So the NES Zapper was Nintendo's uh, light gun for their original Nintendo system, and it was a trailblazer at the time and popularized by games such as Duck Hunt. Um, I can't think of any other games right now, but um, I think it's because I didn't have many. Anyhow, uh, before we begin today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and uh, turn on that notification bell to get up to date with the latest tutorials. But let's not waste any more time. This should be a fun one. So let's jump right in. All right, let's begin. Open up your two panel view. So over here on the left, click that icon. And then my left panel is set to front right now. If you need to change yours, it's under panel, um, orthographic, and then over here, you can change it. And let's add an image plane. And then you'll need to navigate to where you've saved your image. I'm gonna load up this NES Zapper image. And then let's take a look at this. We have this, um, uh, gun, I guess, um, that was the peripheral for the original Nintendo, had a very sleek, uh, great looking design and some features that really make it stand out. So we have this gun barrel that has an angle, uh, a red trigger. Um, it actually came in a couple color um, styles, but this was one of the ones. And then uh, this handle and this mid area with this um, mid shell, the slide area, right? Very unique. Um, if we capture most of those, I think we'll capture the look of the NES Zapper. By the way, I'm just tapping the spacebar to switch between views. Okay, so here's our image. I'm just going to move it back a little bit. And what I want to do is put this on its own layer. So I'm going to open up the outliner, click this last icon, and that'll add it to this layer. I'm just going to double click that, and I'm going to rename this. Click save when you're done. And then what I want to do next is just uh, in this last box, click that a couple times until you get an R and that'll stand for reference. And now if we click off, we can no longer select it. So we can't accidentally select it. Now let's um, add a primitive into the scene and start blocking out and shaping this gun. We'll add a plane. We can start with a cube or a plane. I'm going to start with a plane. And what I want to do is rotate this 90 degrees. So I'm going to press E on the keyboard. Uh, I'm going to get to the transform tools uh, through hotkey. So Q for select, um, W for move, E for rotate, and R for scale. Um, okay, so I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to hold down J to enable snapping and just rotate that 90 degrees over here, 90. And then I'm just going to close my channel box and I'm going to press T on the keyboard. That'll bring up the window here and I can lower these subdivisions to one. All right, let's go in here. And then in this uh, panel, what I wanna do is move this to an area of the gun, and I'm going to start blocking out. I'm gonna start with the gun handle, so I'm gonna scale that. Right now, we can't see through it, so let's turn on X-ray, this icon here. And now, um, let's give this some subdivisions and um, start um, moving these points around. First thing I wanna do is, um, go into my marking menu. So I'm going to go into the marking menu by get, holding down shift, the right mouse button. And I'll get to multi-cut this way, extrude this way. I'll be using this um, for today. Let's go multi-cut and then hover, hover over an edge, hold down control. I'm gonna put a cut right here and one right about here as well. Then I'm gonna press Q to go back to select, hold down the right mouse button and choose vertex. Uh, I'm gonna select this point um, actually, I'll select this point. I'm going to move it up to about right here. Move this to this one to here, and maybe this one to here. Um, you can see, though, um, by working with less subdivisions, it's easier to get the long form. So, for example, this area is straight. If I was working with two edges, it would be harder to keep this straight, but I have one there, right? Um, and then up here, we can extrude this section out and build this area. But what I think what I'll do is I'm gonna move this point over to about maybe here somewhere. 
and then move this one up. So I'm going to try and capture the angle of this um, over here. I think that looks pretty good right about there. We can even bring this over a little bit more. So because we're working with a low poly form, we can pretty much exaggerate, um, simplify things, right, without breaking any rules, really. And then what I'm going to do is move this one down to here and start moving these over here as well. Once I get to about this point, you can see that I need a couple more edges to um, round out the shape in the back, right? We're still going to keep it angular, but we're going to round that out a little bit. So I'm going to hold down shift, right mouse button, multi-cut, and I'm going to put a cut right here and one right here. I'm going to go back into my uh, vertex mode, pressing Q, right mouse button, vertex. I'm going to grab this point. Let me bring that here, and this one I'll bring to about right here. So I think that looks pretty good. And this one, let's bring this up to this um, at the same, um, basically parallel with this one. To do that, let's first move it into position. And then what we want to do is select both of them, press R to go into scale, and then just scale this flat. All right. And then what I want to do next is extrude an edge here. So I'm going to take this edge, press W to go into my move tool, hold down control, drag this arrow out, and now I have another section to work with. I'm going to go into vertex mode, grab this vertex, kind of bring it into about here. I don't mind putting it right here because we're going to have this outer shell that's going to cover it, right? Same with this one. I'm going to simplify this form here and just bring this up to about here. All right. I'm going to tap the space bar and go into my perspective view. And now we have this. And what I'm going to do is go into object mode, select it, and I'm going to extrude. So shift, right mouse button, extrude. And I'm just going to grab this arrow, bring it out. And I want to extrude roughly the thickness of the gun handle. And I'm going to go with something like this for now. Right? Uh, let's go back into object mode. And if I press W, my move tool, you can see it's at um, this side of the mesh. And the reason for that is we started with a plane. So it's going to be on that side. So let's center that. Click this icon and then let's snap it to the center as well. So hold down X and snap. All right, and now what we wanna do is maybe block out this um, gun barrel. Let's add a cube into the scene. So maybe here. And then what I wanna do is just move it up, tap the space bar. I'm also gonna turn on wireframe on shaded. It makes working a little bit easier. I'll turn it on here as well. And then I just want to move this roughly into position. And then I'm going to drag these vertices. Sorry, just going to move it a little bit more. Go and grab these vertices and move it out. As I move this out, you can see that the gun barrel actually has a bit of a slope to it. So it slopes down here. So what I could do is um, take this vertex and just bring it down a little bit. Um, this one here, you don't need to because we're doing with low poly, um, doing um, making a low poly object, right? We could just keep that straight, but I think it's it will help with the design of it, right? Make it look like the zapper itself. And then I'm just going to grab this one and move it to about right here. Looks pretty good. And over here, what I want to do is um, keep this point, maybe bring this in a little bit. And let's take a look at the bottom here as well. So the, the, zapper, the zapper has this other section here, and we could model that, but I think that if we just use this part, we'll be okay, right? It wouldn't be hard to extrude that, but I think we'll leave that out just to simplify that form a bit more. All right, now what we can do is um, block out, actually, let's fish, finish this first. Over here, right, it's a little bit large, so let's scale that inwards. Let's take a look. I think that looks pretty good. What I want to do is maybe um, make the handle a bit thicker, just a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good like that. Now let's make this section here. So let's add a cube into the scene. Let's just bring it up to here. 
And what I want to do is I want to line it roughly with um, this bottom section. You can see that there's four mid sections coming out of it, like extruding a bit. So we'll make that in a second. So I want this to be the, the inside part, right? And I also want it to follow, follow the angle of this. So I'm going to line this point with essentially this angle. And then I'm going to grab um, these vertices over here and just bring them this way a little bit, right? Essentially till they match this angle. I think that's pretty good like that. And then just to see a bit better, now what I'm going to do is grab this object and move it roughly to about this point. Go into vertex mode, grab these vertices, and just bring it into here. So what we're going to be doing later is we're going to use Maya's Boolean operation to combine these. So we just need to basically set it inside here so that it can disappear later on. And you'll, you'll be able to see that in a bit. Okay. I think that looks pretty good right, like that. Now what I want to do is duplicate this and make that um, extrusion, right? So I'm going to control D to duplicate, go into scale, and I'm going to scale this up to about right here. And then what I want to do is move this to aligns with one of these um, sections, right? And then I'm going to grab these vertices over here, move them to make that first section, then go into object mode, and you'll be able to see it on this side as well. I'm going to go into object mode. Right now, the pivot's on this side. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just center that pivot. And then I'm going to press Control D. Then I'm going to move it where the next section is, or roughly where it is. And then I'm going to hold down Shift and press D. And that would duplicate it with the transform. And then I just need to press D again while holding Shift. And now we have our last section. And they're all evenly spaced. All right, let's take a look. Looks pretty good. Let's now build out um, the sights of the guns, the far side and the rear side. We can do that with a cube, right? Let's add a cube into the scene. And with the cube, what I want to do is rotate it. So I'm going to press E to rotate. Hold down J, and I'm going to rotate it. Not, um, I guess I'm rotating it 45 degrees. Let's check. 45, yeah. And then what we want to do is move this roughly to the this position. There you go. And now I want to um, take these two points, so these two vertices, and I want to scale them outwards. But if I press scale, you can see that it, it's still an object space. And so my scale tool right now, if I open it up, it looks like it's an object space. You can get to this just by double clicking it. I'm just going to change it to world. Now I can scale outwards. And I have the rear side of the gun. There you go. I'm just going to change it back to object. All right. And then for the other section, we can do that by just um, go back into object mode for a second. Let's finish this first. So I'm just going to make this a bit more narrow. All right, I think it looks pretty good like that. And then let's duplicate this. So Control D, and remove it to the front of the gun. And over here, we just need to move these points around. So let's go into vertex mode, grab this. Can move this to here. This one, I'll move to here. Notice that I'm box selecting these ones. So unlike the plane, we have um, points behind it. So if I were just, just to just uh, click on it, right, it's not going to grab the point that's behind it. Right? It's hard to see on this one, but if I did it on the top one, right. So if I tried to move it now, it's going to warp. So just make sure you box select. All right, and then I just need to follow the angle of that. And this one I'll bring to roughly about a year. And now we have our front sight. All right. And I'm looking at the length of this video. It's already getting kind of long. So let's just group all these objects. I'm going to select everything. Um, open up the channel box. Um, over here we have our layer. So I'm just going to 
click the last icon and we'll add it to new layer. Double click that. We'll call this the gun layer. And click enter, save. And this is what we have so far. We'll see you in the next video where we'll finish this um, NES zapper. All right, that concludes this part of the tutorial. In the next one, we'll show you how to model the rest of the zapper along with some tips for low poly art. So we'll see you then.